In this video I'm going to talk about grid references. Every topographic map has a grid of squares on it which allows you to take and read grid references. These allow you to pinpoint a specific location on the map. This can be useful to tell others your location or for you to locate a specific point. In this video I will explain how to take six figure grid references which can provide accuracy to within 100 meters of the actual point. So let's find the grid reference for point 644. First you will need to identify the closest grid line to the left of the point. This grid line will have a two digit number. Next you need to divide the grid square your point is located in into 10 equal vertical parts and identify which part the point is in. Start counting from the left with the first section being zero. In this example, 0 0.644 is in the third section. This number is put on the end of the previous two digit number, which in this case gives us 393. This three digit number is called the eastern. To find the last three digits of the grid reference, locate the nearest grid line below the point. Follow the grid line to locate its two digit number, which in this case is 79. This time the grid square needs to be divided into 10 equal horizontal parts. To find the section the point is in, count up from the bottom with the first section being 0. In this example, 0 0.644 is in the fifth section. So 5 will be added to the end of the 79 found previously, giving us a northing of 795. This is then placed at the end of the easting to give us a six figure grid reference of 393795. Finally, each map has a unique code so it can be distinguished. This code is placed before the grid reference to identify which map is being used. On this particular topo map, the code can be located in several places. It's easily seen here on the cover. This code is placed before the six digit grid reference. This grid reference will tell you the point is within this area. This topographic map has a quick guide to taking grid references on the right of the lower margin if you forget how to do it. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If it was helpful, please like and subscribe. This is the second video in my series on outdoor navigation skills. If you're interested in learning about how to read a topographic map, check out the first video in this series. I will be making another video on map and compass navigation soon. And of course you can catch my other videos of outdoor adventures in preparation for Te Araroa this summer. If you would like to support my 3000km adventure, there's a link to donate in the description below this video. Every cent helps. If you have any questions or ideas for future videos you would like to see, please leave them in the comments below. See you next time.